Hi and welcome to this quick introduction on the new transition node that is part of Mario Extension Pack 3.0. So the transition node is used mainly to uprest mask edges. So in this case I have a fantastic mask and I want to add some detail to the edges. So I'm first going to create the transition node. And you can see I've got a bunch of handles here. Uh, so A, B, pattern and transition. And by default I'm going to attach the A handle to my paint and view the node by pressing 1. And you can see now my paint seems to be changing a little bit. That is because by default, um, if B is unmapped, it's using a contrasted version of A in the calculation. So the amount of contrast you can set in the node, so there's a contrast B, and that'll only be evaluated if B is not mapped with anything. So at one, you know, the mask is unchanged, and the higher the value, the more contrast will be used. So how do we use all this, and why does it do this? So let's just create a quick cloud node and attach it to the transition handle. Uh, that check away for a little bit. And you can now see I'm getting a change in the edges of the mask. You know, you can then adjust the contrast to see exactly how much it will apply this effect. Um, so basically it'll isolate the gray areas and uh, add in the effects of the cloud. And the kind of calculation that is being performed is determined by the transition mode. So in this case, we have pattern to black by transition. So you can set this, for example, to just the transition, or in this case, just the pattern. And now nothing will change that much because the pattern at the moment is not mapped. So I'm going to create another node and add it to the pattern. And now I should get something with my pattern as well. And if I set this, for example, to transition times pattern, now I get the combined effect of both. So I have the cloud as well as the pattern. And there's a few different ones, you know, like uh, white to black, pattern to black by transition. So that means basically, um, you know, B is blended over A. So in this case, you know, B is still unmapped. So it's using a contrasted version of A. So a contrasted version of A over A uh, is blended by um, the combined effect of my pattern blended over black by the transition. So it's a bit of, you know, have a look at the uh, health files for the transition node. It's all explained in much more detail than I'm gonna go in here. If you really wanna know what's going on behind the scenes that is. Um, there's another, there's a blend mode here and blend mode basically just um, affects the very end of the computation when the combined effect of, you know, the transition calculation and everything is composed over the black background and that's being affected by the blend mode. So, um, you know, there's a bunch of different effects. You know, not everything is that useful. Uh, so you'll have to play around with it a little bit to see what it what it does. Uh, usually I stick with normal um, multiply, you know, it's, it's always a good alternative. Uh, contrasting should work pretty well in this case. Uh, it's actually an inversion. Um, well, it's quick overlay, a good one in this case. Yep. Um, yeah, like I said, just have a play around with it, and it's quite useful to just uprest any mask. And obviously, you know, you can still paint your mask, and the effect will, will always show up. Let's set this back to normal. Looks a bit better. Uh, and, you know, when you paint full white, the mask will, you know, there won't be any transition, and the uh, the longer the gradient is, the more of these two nodes that are mapped to A and uh, to transition and pattern will show up. And that's already it. Uh, it's definitely useful for uprising. So give it a go. Have a read through in the help files and uh, yeah, enjoy.